This is the Business Storytelling Show with Christoph Trapp. Name a top 20 storytelling podcast and a top 5% podcast globally, Christoph chats with thought leaders and experts to share tips and tricks that can help you tell your company's stories better to drive business results. Available wherever you listen to podcasts, live streamed on major social media channels, and part of the DB&A television network, available on most U.S. television sets and streaming on Roku and Amazon Fire. Here's Christoph with today's episode. Let's go. Let's go business storytellers. How's everyone doing? Hey, we want to talk about whether or not do you need a podcast coach? It's like anything in life. Can you learn by YouTubing the answer? Can you just Google it? Can you read blogs? Can you do some academy? Can you get some made up or real certification? Yes, but sometimes it might be better to get that personal attention from somebody who's been there before, who has walked in your shoes, who knows what it takes to start a podcast. And you know what? This is especially true for leaders and companies, you know, people who are busy, they don't have the time to, to, to learn by trial and error. They want to know the answers. Here's how you set it up. Here's how you get going. Here's what you can do to make it a success. And some of these things are relatively easy once you think about them or once you, uh, once you implement them, but they're not necessarily second nature if you have never hosted a podcast before. So something to keep in mind as you're building um, that content library, as you're getting your personal brand out there, as you're building awareness for your company, by podcasting. I still think it's a fantastic tool, fantastic strategy to get in front of people and then to interview industry experts. I think that's really the key. You want to invite people that fit your ICP, ideal customer profile, invite them on the show. Now you want to make sure they got something to talk about. They got a story to tell, but certainly that's a fantastic relationship builder. Um, You know, it's, it's like going to lunch on steroids, right? Because you have a conversation that's published. You help them build their brand. You, they help you build your brand. And at the same time, they learn about your company. They hear about your company. So it is a super useful tool. I would highly recommend it. Now, what kind of podcast coach might you be looking for? I would recommend somebody, first of all, who knows what they're talking about. Plenty of people are out there. They're just blabbing. And they read a book and all of a sudden they're the expert. Don't go with them. Go with the people that have done podcasts before. And, you know, this is the whole age old argument. Can you be an NFL football coach if you've never played in the NFL? Obviously, you can be. But this is not the NFL. This is podcasting. This is content strategy. This is content marketing. And so work with somebody who actually has done it themselves, who understand the struggles hosts go through. Um, the barriers that they face while they're setting things up or they're trying to have a conversation while they got these seven lights on them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess six, but still, right? Um, A lot of stuff going on. And um, you also want somebody who really listens to you. So for example, there's a gazillion problems. And yes, a lot of these problems are not unique, but the combination of the problems is certainly unique because at the end of the day, what happens is, you know, I might struggle with my lighting. I might struggle with carrying on that conversation while we're on air. I might struggle with coming up with follow-up questions. So I mean, I might need more help having more questions just written down, or I might struggle with something totally different. So the combination of all these different problems that your podcast coach should have already seen in their career as a podcaster or a podcast coach. Um, And then they can help you figure out what are the best solutions for you. Some of it in podcasting too. So it's also personality, right? Because think about it. If I'm a leader in a company, an executive, and I have ghost written articles in some publication, I, I'm still hiding behind the words, right? Like I'm maybe not hiding, but I'm, I'm behind the words. You don't have to see me, but if you're the the executive um, doing the podcast and being the face of the podcast, you can't hide because you're right there. So at the end of the day, it is important to figure out how to work 
how do you um, bring the right personality to the table? How do you bring the right um, energy? Because podcasting at the end of the day is also about uh, a little bit of entertainment, right? So if people can't listen to you, uh, what makes you think that they will come back? What makes you think that they want to work with you if ugh, you're putting them to sleep? So a podcast coach can help you with all those things. And um, certainly, you know, it doesn't have to be forever ever and ever it's kind of you know teach how you um how you do it and then go from there that's a wrap thanks for tuning in please rate and review our show on your favorite podcast channels and don't forget to share this episode with your networks we appreciate you until next time let the best stories win mm-hmm.